Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video we'll be talking about types and interfaces in TypeScript. We will go over the differences between them and hopefully at the end of this video you'll have an idea which one to use and when. So first to understand um, what are they. So type aliases are used to name a type. So let's say we create a type somewhere and we want to reuse it anywhere else in the uh, code. We'll just use type alias to like, basically name a type. Uh, interface is also another way of naming uh, object type. So both of them um, are ways to define like an object structure or a function signature. They're very similar actually and there used to be more differences between them in previous versions of TypeScript, for example in 18 and 19. With the newer versions we are seeing more similarities because almost all features um, that types have can be um, replicated in the interface. One major difference actually, well first it's um, the syntax as you can see on the screen their syntax is a little bit different and the major um, difference between them is that type cannot be um, created multiple um, times uh, versus interface it can always be extended. Uh, this uh, concept is known as declaration merging so it basically gives interface um, an ability to be created multiple times and it will still be treated as a single entity. For example, the second time it, it's created, all the values it's going to take, it's going to add to the previous definition. But for the type, if it's um, declared multiple times, then it will just um, throw an error. But the thing that types can do that interface cannot is that types can also be used to declare other um, types for example not only the object type but like primitives unions and tuples so let's check an example now um, the first one is as i mentioned the primitive type as you can see here we have assign type name to string and it could be any primitive type so the other primitive types in typescript are number, boolean, null, or undefined. Um, the next example we have object type, which we can also name object type using an interface. So this example would be, only example we would be able to replicate using um, interface. Um, the third one is union. Union is um, like allows us to create a new type that can have value of one or few more types so union can be this one for example it could be of partial point x or could be of type partial point uh, y both of them would be acceptable as for the tuple the um, last example it creates a type from like accepting two sets of different data types so to create an example we would have maybe like a variable example and here we, the first one value that it's accepting would be number, second one it would be a string. So these are all the use cases of the type. Another thing to pay attention to when it comes to types and interfaces is uh, to check how implement works. And implement, can, like both types and interfaces can be used to implement classes. And implement means that if let's say class some point implements point, then it needs to have all the methods that are defined in point. So if we look at this example, we have an interface and then we have a type declared here. We use both interface and the type to uh, implement. In this case, interface point implements this class some point. And in another case, this type point2 is used to implement class some point2. The only use case which cannot be implemented is when type is used to declare a union type class. So let's say if we would want to use this specific type to implement a class like this. So this would um, throw us an error, but all the other, it works for all the other use cases. So 
these are major differences between types and interfaces and some of the key points um, that you would have to pay attention to. As for like when to use them, for example, just because types cannot be changed after they are created, if you're creating something that might be a mutated layer, I would suggest using interface. But if it's just like a function that is probably not gonna, does only like one thing and is not gonna be updated later and just gonna be reused, I would suggest going with the types. An interface would be better if you're like defining, defining new object or new method of the object. For example, if you're using React, I've seen most of the people use React props as an interface. But at the end of the day, it's up to your um, preference. There is no like right or wrong way of using types and interfaces and they can be used interchangeably. Um, so I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you.